Hello dear friends, Assalamu alaikum and welcome back. Friends, we are discussing about tissues of the body. Previous lecture was about adipose tissue, types of adipose tissue, locations of adipose tissue, functions of adipose tissue and how the adipose tissue stores the fats and releases the fats. We have discussed it in the previous lecture. Then uh, you can see on the whiteboard we have different types of, uh, three types of uh, tissues, right? And they are now, uh, I know you have recognized this, that these are the type of cartilages. So right now in this lecture, we are going to discuss about cartilage, right? Okay, so let's go for it. Cartilage. What is cartilage? Cartilage is a type of connective tissue. Why? Because I had told you that in our body, connective tissue is divided into embryonic connective tissue right and another one was the specialized connective tissue right so specialized connective tissue we had said that it is divided into four classes if you remember the first one was the skeletal skeletal connective tissue right and other types were also the vascular right and the pigmented and other and the skeletal was divided into two types that was the bone right and that was the cartilage so this was our previous classification we had done the full classification of connective tissue we had so here <coughs> we are going to discuss about cartilage so what is cartilage cartilage is the skeletal type of specialized connective tissue right which possess the property of resistance and it is a little bit elastic in nature right so let me write here the definition what is cartilage cartilage is an avascular avascular specialized connective tissue which contains a meshwork of resistant collagen fibers, right? Which contains a meshwork of meshwork of resistant collagen fibers. Right, this is the definition and there is also another definition, another definition for this cartilage is that cartilage is a type of avascular connect specialized connective tissue, connective tissue which is, which contains what, which contains chondrocytes right chondrocytes and chondroblast cells chondroblasts look very nice definition so it means that our cartilage is formed by these chondrocytes and chondroblast cells so it's a specialized connective tissue which contains a, a meshwork of resistant collagen fibers resistant collagen fibers means it is a little bit resistive and elastic so you know here in the ear pinna we have this cartilage here right so if you turn it over and over and you pull it so it will not be cut why because it contains a meshwork of resistant collagen fibers clear friends this is the definition of cartilage and uh, i know you know well now some important points about cartilage and then we will go towards important points then we will go towards the types of cartilage the first important point about cartilage is that cartilage is in our body cartilage is avascular it means there is no special type of blood supply to the cartilage look carefully cartilage lacks blood vessels then how these chondroblast and chondrocytes are leaving and how this tissue is formed we know that wherever there is a cartilage for example this is a piece of cartilage right 
so beneath this cartilage there must be another connective tissue right beneath or below this cartilage there must be another type of connective tissue and the food substances the oxygen and other all substances will diffuse from this lower connective tissue to this upper connective tissue i mean cartilage so cartilage itself is avascular right but it gets its nourishment from the surrounding tissues clear friends i hope it's clear then the second point about cartilage is that it contains a extra cellular matrix it contains let me write it here it contains firm firm means very strong firm extra cellular cellular matrix so the extra cellular matrix of cartilage is very strong why because i have told you here it contains a meshwork of resistant collagen fibers for example if we make a diagram here we have taken a small piece of the cartilage or you look here or here or here anywhere so there must be cells chondroblastins and chondrocytes located in the lacony and then this is extracellular matrix what is this this is extracellular matrix and the extracellular matrix of cartilage is very firm very strong it is tension resistive look carefully resistant collagen fibers when you pull it it will not be teared it will not break it will not be broken right why because this cartilage especially this fibrocartilage is located in some special areas of the body the weight bearing areas of the body which is used more and more through which we hold weights and they pull the bones and they they, they are in, inside in between the bones the special type of bones in the intervertebral discs right so they must bear weight of the body they must uh, do cushioning action they must uh, do uh, shock absorptive function so they pr provide different functions we will see in the functions later so the first important point about cartilage is that they are avascular the second point is they contain very firm extracellular matrix and the third point the, the the third point is about cartilage that they are less pliable they are less pliable cartilage is very less pliable clear for friends okay the next important point about cartilage is that they contain more than 95% matrix contain 95% matrix this so it means that the matrix around the cells or extracellular matrix this cartilage contains less number of cells but more what more extracellular matrix that's why we say it contains resistive collagen fiber meshwork of resistive collagen fiber so 95 percent of the cartilage is its matrix right the fifth point is that extracellular matrix of the cartilage is mostly a little bit solid and firm right so extracellular matrix is solid mostly but listen to me here if you see in the hyaline cartilage here is more water present so about this uh, um, uh, this this is elastic cartilage this is fibrocartilage both of them contain very firm extracellular matrix but here is the exceptional case in this cartilage the hyaline cartilage there is more water in the extracellular matrix right we will write the properties of the three type of cartilages don't worry so extracellular matrix is solid and firm right there is some important points about cartilage we should know the sixth the, the, the next important point about cartilage is that the extracellular matrix of this cartilage contains glycosamine glycans proteoglycans and collagen fibers type 2 right so extracellular matrix contains gags it means glycosamine glycans that i have already discussed in the previous lecture then it contains proteoglycans 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 means proteins and carbohydrates and it contains collagen 
type 2 collagen type 2 but i will write a little bit a little type 1 also a little bit type 1 also in the special type of uh, cartilage i will uh, tell you there in which type there is uh, also type 1 present right next important point about cartilage is that this the, the the extracellular matrix of this cartilage permits the diffusion of substances towards the cell for example here is the the other tissue that i told you in this tissue there are lots of blood vessels right there are lots of blood vessels for example and these blood vessels have brought some nutrition so this nutrition is diffusing towards this uh, uh, cartilage and the this is these substances are diffusing into the uh, matrix and then uh, they are reaching towards the cells right so the extracellular matrix of the cartilage permits the diffusion of substances right so ECM extracellular matrix permits diffusion of substances okay this is the property of the extracellular matrix of this cartilage next important point about cartilage is that it contains you know we have written here the extracellular matrix contains meshwork of resistive fibers resistive collagen fibers done and the last point that i want to tell you guys about cartilage is that the cells of the cartilage are located in a special area in the extracellular matrix and that special part is called lecone for example if you look at a section of the cartilage right for example this is the cartilage and we have made a section so this is the cell so the cells have created a very specialized areas in the extracellular matrix and those specialized areas are called lecone right like this now look carefully so these special parts where the cells are located they are called lecone so we say cells are cells of cartilage are located in lecone right friends so about cartilage this was a little bit knowledge that i shared with you what is cartilage cartilage is a specialized connective tissue that contains a meshwork of resistive collagen fibers right or we say a specialized connective tissue which is made up of chondrocytes and chondroblasts and extracellular matrix some important points it is avascular tissue it contains firm extracellular matrix it is less pliable contains 95 percent uh, matrix right the matrix is 95 percent cells are very less extracellular matrix is always in firm it contains gigs proteoglycans and collagen type 2 mostly but a little bit type 1 also extracellular matrix permits diffusion that i told you diffusion of substances occur then it contains meshwork of resistive collagen fibers so, so very much collagen fibers are there in this type of uh, tissue and then cells are located in specialized points that are called lecone clear friends now there are three types of cartilages how many types of cartilage there are three types of cartilage here here and here these three so let me write their name this is called elastic cartilage i have brought the diagrams and i have uh, put them here in order to have a clear concept of elastic and this one is hyaline hyaline cartilage right and that one is fibro cartilage fibro cartilage clear friends so the name shows elastic cartilage contains lots of cells very simply many many cells hyaline cartilage contains a uh, uh, much water in its extracellular matrix that why it appears as hyala and hyala means mirror like so if you look look at it for example if you look at it you will see your face inside that 
um, mirror shape area or in this are this highly cartilage so that's why so it 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 creates a little bit uh, shining it's a little bit shiny because of the much amount of water present in the extracellular matrix that's why they put their name as hyaline cartilage and this is called fibro cartilage so it means that it contains very much fibers in it right so look all these are fibers so next lecture will be about the detail of elastic hyaline and fibrocartilage see you there